Hello children! Before we begin, I wanted to show you a picture that I received from one of the families. Look at this! Bradley, Bradley is learning to write his name. He's been practicing his letters. And you may know that we have what we call uppercase letters and lowercase letters when we write. And usually we first learn our uppercase letters. Those are sometimes called capital letters. But look, Bradley, he's learning his uppercase letters. You see that beautiful B and his lowercase letters. That's what he used for the rest of his name. That's very impressive. So thank you, Bradley. I'm so glad to see that picture and to see how much you're working on your letters. And I hope you're enjoying that. Um, and hi, I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's get started. Children, I'd like to show you a science experiment that I do sometimes at my school. Um, and that's very simple to do at home and very interesting. Uh, all you need is some water, some dish soap, like what your grown-ups use to wash dishes in the sink, and some pepper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, first we'll do the experiment and then we'll talk about why what happens, happens, okay? Um, so I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper on the water. There you go. And um, it's just floating there on the top of the water. And now I'm gonna put my finger in, see if anything happens. Well, some of the pepper is sticking to my finger. Other than that, not much happening. Okay, now I'm gonna take my finger and dip it in some dish soap, and I'm gonna put it back in the water and see if something different happens. Ready? Huh? The pepper moved very quickly to the side of the bowl, moved away from my finger. So at first, the pepper was clinging to my finger a bit, but then when I had the soap on, it moved away. Why is that? Well, there's something in soap and something in water that repels, that means moves away from each other. Um, sometimes you hear this very big word I'm gonna tell you, and that is hydrophobic. Hydrophobic, hydro means water, and phobic means afraid. So it's almost like saying the soap is afraid of the water. Ah! Or maybe the water would be afraid of the soap and they move away from each other. Not really, they're not really afraid. Um, but soap and water, there's something in them, that a part of them that moves away from each other. So when I put my finger in with the soap on it, the water moved away from the, so from the soap and it carried the pepper with it. Whew. Moved away. Um, that is a fun experiment that you could try at home. See if the same thing happens when you put pepper on water and then first put your finger in without any soap and then put your finger in with soap. See if you get the same results. Let me know if you want. Today, children, I thought we could learn a bit about sharks. I know a lot of children at my preschool really like sharks and they're fascinating creatures. Um, this book is called Shark Bites because it has bits of information about sharks and also because it talks about their teeth. That's how they bite. Shark Bites. This book is by Heather Dakota and illustrated by Dan Jankowski. Now this book has a lot of information in it, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, um, but perhaps it's a book that you can look for someday if you want to hear the rest of it. Shark Bites. First of all, let's read, what is a shark? Sharks are fish. 
They have been around since the age of the dinosaurs. Sharks live in oceans all over the world and even some rivers and lakes. I didn't know that, that some sharks live in rivers and lakes. That was news to me. Sharks do not have bones. Their skeleton is made of cartilage. There are 368 different kinds of sharks. All sharks are carnivores. That means they eat other animals, carnivores. Most sharks swim even when they are sleeping. They have to keep moving, moving to breathe. A group of sharks is called a school or a shoal. A group of fish is also called a school, right? Prehistoric sharks. Sharks have been around for more than 350 million years. They were around 100 million years before the dinosaurs. Modern sharks showed up during the Jurassic period about 150 million years ago. Megalodon was a prehistoric shark. Its name means big tooth. It was the largest, most powerful shark to have ever lived. Scientists believe it grew up to 70 feet in length. That's as long as three great white sharks, which we're going to learn about. They weighed about 114 tons. That is about the same as 16 adult elephants. And its bite was 11 feet wide and almost 9 feet tall. Wow! That's amazing. Megalodon. Here's some pictures of different shark teeth. Shark teeth are fascinating. Okay, now I thought we'd just read a little bit about some of the different sharks talked about in this book. Um, here is the blue shark. Look at that long, sleek body. Blue shark. These fast swimming sharks are found in open water very far from shore. Most sharks live alone, but blue sharks live in large all-male or all-female schools, and scientists don't know why. Why do they do this when other sharks live alone? They don't know. This is the lemon shark. Why do you think it's called a lemon shark? Do you see that it looks partly yellow? And lemons are yellow. They get their name from their yellow coloring. The eyesight of lemon sharks is not very good, but they have amazing smell. Lemon shark. Oh, this is my favorite. The hammerhead shark. Look at the shape of that head and look, the eyes are all the way on the sides. Hammerhead shark. I guess because people think the head looks a bit like a hammer tool. Mm. I'm not sure if I got to name that shark, I might call it something else like the skateboard head shark because this, this head looks like a skateboard to me. I wouldn't try to ride it though, would you? Hammerhead shark. They use their heads to trap stingrays on the ocean bottom and then they eat the stingrays. So that's, that's what, how they get their food. Hmm, hammerheads. This is the sand tiger shark. Look at those teeth. Do you see how sharp they are? Kind of narrow, sharp teeth. Sand tiger sharks always look as if they are staring because they do not have eyelids. We have eyelids, right? We can close our eyes and cover them up with our eyelids. But the sand tiger shark does not. So when they need to clean their eyes, that's what our eyelids do for us. They roll them back in their head. That's how they clean their eyes. I never thought about this, but our eyelids are kind of like windshield wipers, aren't they? On a car. Hmm. Interesting. Black tip shark. Take a look. Why do you think this shark is called black tip? I bet you see. The tips of the fins are black. See that? There's black there. Black there. Black tip shark. Black tip sharks get their name from their black tip fins. They can quickly adjust their eyes in low light so they can see when there's not much light. Well, that's nice, that helps. Black tip sharks sometimes hunt by leaping out of the water and splashing down on their backs. Interesting. Let's see. How, oh, how about the tiger shark? Ooh, look at that mouth, tiger shark. 
Tiger sharks are known as the garbage cans of the sea because they will eat anything. A license plate, nails, oil cans, and an old tire have been found in the stomachs of the tiger shark. A license plate. I can't imagine that tasted very good. And here's the great white shark. Great whites can smell one drop of blood in 25 gallons of water. So they can smell very well. Oh, I made a rhyme. Smell very well. Smell well. They are almost the size of a bus. That's really big. Great white shark. Look at those teeth. Amazing. And how about if we do one more? Oh, <laughs> the cookie cutter shark. Now that's an interesting name. The cookie cutter shark, first of all, this is interesting, have photophores to give off a green glow from their bellies. Photo means light. So they can light up. And um, I saw this on a video because I wanted to know more. Um, they light up, scientists think, to attract predators. They, it's almost like that's their way of saying, come and get me. And then when the predators come, they get right behind them and take a quick bite out of the predator and then swim away. Cookie cutter shark. And the reason it's called a cookie cutter shark is because the bite that it leaves is round like a cookie. When it spreads its teeth out, it makes a big circle and then it goes in and takes a, a cookie bite. I don't think the predators like that very much, do you? Mm -mm cookie cutter shark. So that's just some of the sharks in this book. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. Did you learn something new? I learned something new about sharks. Um, they're fascinating, aren't they? Well, I found some video footage that I thought we'd like to look at. Um, see what you think. These are gray reef sharks. They're called that because they are gray and they tend to live near coral reefs. Aren't they graceful? And this is the whale shark. It's not a whale, it's a shark, a fish, but it's really big, so it reminds people of a whale. It's the world's biggest fish. And even though it's so big, its food is tiny. It eats plankton. Whale sharks are very gentle. As I understand it, scuba divers like to hang onto a fin and catch a ride with a whale shark. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, let's see. We read about sharks and we watched some video about sharks. So for a song, I wonder, should we sing? Mm. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark. Daddy shark do 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 Daddy shark do 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 Daddy shark do 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 Daddy shark Grandma shark do 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 Grandma shark do 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 Grandma shark do 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 Grandma shark Grandpa shark do 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 Grandpa shark do 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 Grandpa shark do 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 Let's go hunt to do to do to do. Let's go hunt to do to do to do. Let's go hunt to do to do to do. Let's go hunt. Swim away to do to do to do. Swim away to do to do to do. Swim away to do to do to do. Swim away. Safe at last to do to do to do. Safe at last to do to do to do. Safe at last to do to do to do. Safe at last. Ah. Children, thank you so much for joining me for preschool meeting. I really enjoyed it. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> A little bit of soap dropped in. Uh, I gotta do this again. Yep. Pepper is sort of, some of it is clinging to my finger. My finger was soapy already. We have to do this again. <laughs>